Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about cis-trans isomerism. Isomers are nothing but uh, compounds are having same molecular form now, but different structures, right? Isomer is actually a word uh, derived from Greek language, meaning made up of same parts. I first discuss constitutional isomers. I'll take an example so I can uh, explain easily. C2H6O. This is actually a molecular formula which is applicable for two different compounds. One is methoxy methane. Another one is ethanol. These two compounds are completely different, right? They possess different physical properties. I'll give an example. Boiling point of methoxy methane is minus 23 degree Celsius. And the boiling point of ethanol is 78 degree Celsius. Yes, these two possess different physical properties. If you see the connectivity, oxygen is connected with two other carbon atoms. Here, oxygen is connected with carbon atom and hydrogen. Okay, let's just move on to stereoisomers, under which cis-trans isomerism comes, right? Stereoisomers are nothing. Uh, it has same molecular formula, but they arrange differently in space. Okay. First, I would like to give example of cyclohexane. This is one example of uh, cis-trans isomerism, of having cis-trans isomerism between carbon atoms with single bond. Okay, this is cis 1 to di substituted cyclohexane. And what about this? This is going to be trans. How can I distinguish cis trans? Here, same groups are on the same side. Okay, of two different carbon atoms. Here, same groups are on the opposite side of two different carbon atoms, right? That's why it is called trans and this is called cis. I would like to give another example with olefin. This is going to be your cis to butene, right? This is going to be cis to butene, and, and this one is going to be trans. Again, these two are different. If I check with the boiling point of this compound, it's going to be around 4 degrees Celsius and it's going to be around 1 degree Celsius. Exactly, these two compounds are different. Uh, is it, uh, you may ask a question or you may think, is it possible for me to uh, convert trans to cis or cis to trans through rotation? Actually, no. Free rotations are, are restricted here. With double or triple bond. Right. So free rotations are restricted. Why free rotations are restricted? Because in order to form a, a double bond between these two carbon atoms, you should have a p orbital. Okay. I just draw. This is your sigma bond. Okay. P orbitals are perpendicular, right? Perpendicular to this plane. If you try to rotate any of uh, these carbon atoms, then you are disrupting the overlap. So that's why free rotations are restricted for double and triple bonded compounds. Okay. I'll give you another example. You just take this compound, this type of compound, where we're going to predict cis and trans. 
cis and trans parts. First, I'll just take this one. I, I'm going to number this as one, two, three. Okay, let's consider first part. Here you have two H, right? This is not going to be, uh, uh, this, this cannot be considered as uh, cis trans. This cannot be considered uh, to exhibit cis trans isomerism. Okay, let's check why. I'll explain with two examples. If you check with, with the example A, here you have same groups on the same side of same atom, right? Here, same groups are on the same side of two different carbon atoms. Only this type of, okay, this type of compound can exhibit cis trans isomerism. Whereas, this cannot exhibit cis trans isomerism. Why? Because same groups are on the same carbon atom. This is not uh, gonna, this is not going to exhibit cis trans isomerism. Right. So similarly, it looks like the same, right? With the, it, it, uh, it exactly matches with the compound A. Right. So you cannot ex expect cis trans isomerism for this part, first part. Let's move on to the second part where you can find hydrogen over here and here. This is going to be trans. What about this one? Here you have hydrogen. Here you have hydrogen. So this is going to be cis. And also, I would like to give another example. You people can easily answer. Okay. Five. Okay. You take this example. Here you don't have two. Let me write. Okay. How many carbon atoms are here? Six carbon atoms, right? Only you need to focus on on these two, right? Because it contains double bond. And you, if you check, this carbon is attached with two hydrogen atoms, and this carbon is attached with two other hydrogen atoms, right? So uh, this comes under this category. You can easily you can easily avoid, right? You, you can say no stereo, no stereo isomers. Okay, specifically, I can say uh, no cis trans isomerism possible for this compound. Right? So, with this, I think I, I covered cis trans isomerism part. Thank you.